Are there any questions from the media? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. I would like to know what notice the employees have gotten. Is this their notice or have they been told about the situation prior to this notice? No, ma'am. As of 7 a.m. this morning, the employees were given notice. In lieu of giving the employees 60 days previous notice, we are giving them 83 days with pay in lieu of notice. Are there any other questions? Yes, sir. You mentioned that there's going to be pay through January 31st. Yes, sir. And you also mentioned assisting the employees in finding another job. Yes, sir. Will they still get paid if they find employment prior to January 31st? Yes, they will. They will receive 100% of their normal pay from this morning, November the 9th, all the way through January the 31st. Those who are receiving a retirement benefit, however, will not qualify for that benefit until February the 1st of 2010. But they'll get paid up to that point. They will get paid up to that point, regardless of whether or not they find other employment. We would love for them to find other employment. That is why we're going through all of these procedures to get someone from the outside. Even our human resource people, all of our personnel people, everyone at our company needs to find another job. That is why we hired an outside company to come in to provide those services for all of us, me included. <laughs> yes, sir. Could you please re-explain the, I have two kids that will be 16 and 17 years old. Could you please re-explain the, uh, the college the scholarship, the scholarship program? program? Yes, ma'am. Our scholarship program was set up to provide an opportunity for our employees' children to get any type of education they should choose. We have a regular application process to where they fill out an essay, but as we have seen over the last 47 years, any of our employees that applied did receive, any of their, our employees' children that applied did receive the scholarship. That's why we have put aside a million dollars to make sure that all the children who reach the age of age 16 by December the 31st of this year will have that ability to have those monies to use for their college education. So you have two children, ages 16 and 17, which I assume they are already 16 and 17, or they will be that age by December the 31st. They will be that age by 16. The 16-year-old will be 16 by that time. So when they graduate in two years and three years, all you have to do is fill out the application, bring it in to the company. We will have an address for you. It will be P.O. Box 16371, We Can Scholarship Program. Wichita, Kansas, 67216. Make sure that you fill out that application completely. If you need more information, it is available on our website, wecanengineering.com. Go in, apply for the application online, and your children will receive that $40,000 apiece for their education. Is there, excuse me, I'm sorry, is there a limitation on the number of kids who can, or is the dollar amount the limitation? The dollar amount is the limitation. Any of your children who would, re who would reach that age, whether they are your natural children or your, they are your adoptive children, if they will reach the age of 16, by December the 31st of this year, they will receive the scholarship monies. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Yes, sir. If there's any scholarship money remaining after you've uh, divvied it out to the children of the workers, will that money go back to the workers? No, the, the money will not go to back to the workers. The money will go to the family of Weekend Engineering that is owned and operated. Yes. Will the United Way or any other agencies be assisting these laid-off workers? Yes. There will, be a, uh, there will be services by the United Way, but they will be minor because we have got such a wonderful severance package for our employees. It looks like right now we only have 143 employees who will not still be receiving money after January the 31st, even though they will be receiving some unemployment benefits. When those employment benefits end, we hoped that all 143 would have found employment 
by that time, which would negate their need to use any of the services by the United Way. Yes? I have a question regarding what you provide to the community in the way of services. Who's going to fill that void? Well, we have plenty of design companies here in the Wichita area, which include Spirit Arrow Systems, Learjet, Bombardier, what's the name of the company? Hawker Beechcraft. We're such a small company, we can't compete with them with the design and engineering services of aircraft. That's why we are in the position that we are in today. Our marketing people have done the best they could do, but it's just not enough work to keep us all gainfully employed. And we have taken, it has taken us four years to come to this point. This is not something that happened overnight. Little bit by little bit, our market share has decreased. And it has decreased to the point now to where we would be in jeopardy of filing bankruptcy if we do not take the steps that we need to take now to provide for us and for our employees and their families. Yes, sir? Was there an economic impact study done in regards before they made this decision to close this, to shut this operation down? Yes, there was an economic impact statement done. Because of that impact statement and because of what we have always provided for our employees, you know, we're not like some companies. These people have been with us 20, 25, 30 years. Some of these people started working for us while they were in high school. This is a family-owned business. We didn't just say, oh, let's close the doors tomorrow. It didn't happen that way. We did economic studies. We tried overseas to see whether or not we would be able to get contracts over there. We have tried everything we could to provide work for our employees, but just as any other company. Let's use Walmart for an example. If you have a small community grocery store and Walmart moves in two blocks down the road, that small grocery company cannot compete with Walmart. We, as an engineering company, we cannot compete with the big Fortune 500 companies. We have done a wonderful job over the last 97 years, but we won't be able to keep up that standard. So we had to make that decision as a family to let it go. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any advice for businesses that may be going to start up and they, they just need some good counsel? If there's a new business that's interested in starting up, they need to make sure of where their market share is. Who is going to be their customer? They need to start making contacts and networking with those customers right now to make sure that they are going to be viable in the market. Through the Small Business Administration, there is plenty of educational information available to help them set up a business plan. It's not that we didn't have a a wonderful business plan. We've been doing business for 97 years, but we're just small fry in this industry. And sir, you had a question. Yes, I was wondering about your suppliers. Will they be paid in full? All of our suppliers are paid in full. We are not in the red. We are not bankrupt. <laughs> we are not unable to pay our bills. All of our suppliers that have provided products to this day have been paid 100%. Part of the sale and liquidation of our assets, anything that we have purchased, some of it we have sold back to those same suppliers at a discount. They sold it to us for full price and we took a hit. We took anywhere from a 35 to a 45 percent hit because it did no good to have stock and supplies sitting on our shelves when we would not be using. When I make the statement that we have liquidated all of our assets, I mean every last one of the assets we have. I have time for one more question. If there are no other questions, the statement provided to the media will be provided after this press conference. Thank you very much for your attention.